again. Welcome to our Cell Travel Leisure and Food Vlogs. Today we'll be cooking another very easy to cook dish. Another version of Inon Unan is that. So this time I'm using this lagaw. We call it in our local dialect lagaw. So our ingredients are the following. One kilogram of lagaw which I already cleaned thoroughly. We have here five green chili or green peppers. We have some salt to taste, about five pieces crushed garlic, and uh, granulated garlic as well, the powdered one or the granulated one. We have some seasoning. And then here is approximately about a cup of coconut vinegar. Then we will be adding little cooking oil later on uh, when the dish is cooked. So I've now here prepared cooking pot rather. A cooking pot which we are going to arrange. Here's our pot. It's already clean. So first thing that we need to do is we're going to arrange the fish like this. We have to arrange it properly so that uh, when we when it gets cooked, it's, it would be very easy for us to serve. Okay, so I'll first arrange the fish. The arrangement will look like this. Then, after the fish is already arranged, I'll, I'll then add the rest of the ingredients. So, first would be, the first step would be to clean the fish and then to arrange the fish properly so that the moment it's cooked, it will be easy for you to pick the fish one by one so that you can serve it. So, just like this, very easy to arrange. See? Like that. Okay, once it's already arranged, you can place the rest of the ingredients. So, we're almost done with arranging the fish. There you go. few more, just a few more. We have here one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, and the last one, eight. Okay, so at this point, you can now add the rest of the ingredients, which is the rock salt. It's just about approximately two tablespoons. And then we also need to add the seasoning right there, the granulated garlic there, and then the crushed garlic as well. Uh, let's distribute this to different parts of the pot like that. Then the last but not least would be the vinegar. So, after pouring in the vinegar, and that's it. That's the vinegar. So, I'm not, you'll notice that I'm not adding any water. So, no water added. Because the fish, once we, well, it's exposed to heat, uh, its own moisture uh, will, then it will have its own soup. So, in our local uh, terminology, we call this pinaugan na inununan. Okay? So let us begin. Uh, let us now apply heat. Now, this is how it looks after this is about three minutes after uh, I turned on the flame. So let's wait till it cooks completely. Now, at this point, we're almost done. So... As you can see now, I will be adding some used oil. Now, the oil that I'll be adding, the cooking oil that I'll be adding is the oil that I used in frying the fish the other day. So, we're going to add it here so that it will become more flavorable. See? That's the... You could take the option of using also the kind of oil that you use for 
frying pork or even chicken so that your dish will become very 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 yummy delicious so we're almost done let's just wait for another couple of minutes i think two minutes will be done okay we're done one very very delicious inununan pinauga coming right up inununan nalagaw so as you can see very little soup left because that's why it's called pinauga so i hope you like it uh, please don't forget to smash that bell all notification hit the like button place your comment or comments in the comment section if you like and don't forget to subscribe have a great day everyone stay safe always god bless and bon appetit